for a project in high school, I was asked to interview a family member. And from that interview, I learned about my great grandfather who had Alzheimer's disease and passed away from Alzheimer's disease. My family discovered that my uh, grandfather had a neurological condition where his memory was affected. This really helped drive that interest and passion that I have in science for understanding what's occurring in these disease patients. Since then, I decided that I wanted to pursue a career in science, but focus on understanding how memory works and how to find a cure for diseases where memory is affected. Luan and I have both done our postdocs in the lab of Nobel laureate Eric Kandel. We try to address a very complicated question, which is how memory works, how memory are formed and stored over a long period of time. And the way we are trying to do this is by using a simplified system. We can grow cells from the brain in a dish, and that allows us to look at the complexities and intricacies of memory. We changes the levels of proteins, of critical proteins that are involved in memory formation, and we observe how these affect the stability of uh, these memories. We discovered that one of these proteins involved in memory helps the cell to make new connections with other cells. Strengthening the connection between neurons, and therefore uh, our protein of interest plays a major role in uh, memory formation and maintenance. Ultimately, if we can understand what's happening in a normal, healthy brain, we can apply that knowledge to a diseased brain and potentially combat that disease. Our expertise really complemented each other and this brought our study to another level. It's just a nice example of how collaboration really enriches science and the stories we can tell.